Okay, 300 mile trip to Cornwall for a graduation and then 300 miles back. So the car is programmed in two stops. This is my first proper, proper long drive now without the familiar with me. So I've got my map there ready to go. I've stopped on the A303 for a um, quick um, drop to the toilet. But um, on my way down here, I stopped on, at, at Fleet Services on the A3, or, on, oh, sorry, on the M3. And um, you, you can see that I've started with my car telling me where to go. I had my stops planned and all that sort of stuff. And believe it or not, when I got back to the car, the sat nav had no recollection that we were on a journey. What, listen, that made me so angry because I had my charging stops in there as well. And by the time I realized that it wasn't talking to me any, anymore, I was already on the move. So I had to resort to, to like, um, it's a good thing I had the destination in my calendar on my phone. So I just went on to Apple CarPlay and just hit that and that's it. Now, the phone's reliable. It'll get me to where I gotta go. And especially with this new iOS um, 17, I was able to download offline maps and then use that. So I don't have to worry about not having signal while I'm on the journey. So it's a good thing I was a little bit prepared. The only problem is that the phone and the car don't merge in such a way that you know the phone always knows my state of charge and will you know suggest places to stop i have to go and search for that and program that in and which is this is the reason why i use the car sat nav today or attempted to because at least i knew that that was covered except it wasn't so now i have to put in a stop um because well i'll show you where i where i'm at at the minute so that's where we're at so i've done 142 miles um a steady 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour but i'm currently sitting on 49 percent. i started on 95 percent. so i think the car is doing really really well i've still got you know quite a lot left there i've got another 190 odd miles to go um so i'm all right with that but it's really infuriating that you come back into the car and the sat nav doesn't just kick off from where you left off it is very very anger inducing anyway onwards and forwards finally found it a very weird place for it to be because there's building works going on around here and um 125 kilowatts it's uh, doing so i'm quite happy with that i will need to stay here for long i can't ascertain the price though so it had to be that um, after a quick little calculation that this is costing me 75p per kilowatt hour at this insta volt on the 303 yeah i'm already past 20 pounds because i'm going to 80 percent and i started on like 35 percent believe that Okay, made it to Falmouth University campus just on time as well because the exact time the car said I'd be here is when I am here. So, six hours of driving, look at that. Four miles per kilowatt hour for this journey, one stop to charge. So, I reckon we have done fantastically well after 300 miles. Anyway, I am now very tired and about to go enjoy the festivities. Well, it was bound to happen at some point, coming back from Cornwall today. Uh, and this is Cornwall Services, all these lovely big um, grid serve chargers. They're all dead. Apparently disconnected from the remote server. So 20% um, battery and 60 miles of range. I'm gonna have to think of somewhere else to go because I've still got 300 miles ahead of me to go. So um, yeah, fun times. <laughs> Um, it's pretty early in the morning as well. There's some guys at the back there seemingly doing some work. So hopefully uh, we'll get it running. When I got here, there were like 500 people with me here. They're all left and I am staying because I have to get to Kent. So I need my car charged. So let's see how we do. So this is a quick update. 
a very good one actually so I've come to this is now my third stop to get my car charged in um, the beautiful Cornwall um, so the first stop I, I did my due diligence last night you know uh, was at an Airbnb had a great time and then I sat there and I planned out charging stops I only had 30% charge when I went there last night so there was a um, uh, I think it was a BP Pulse right near where I was staying went to that one wasn't working so I thought well okay that that's when I went to grid serve that was my second stop all those charges are dead and I came here with 19% and um, this is my third stop at this BP Pulse here in Wade Bridge as you can see 150 kilowatts and um, this one refused to speak to the car so that was a quick call to customer service and the guy did his jiggery pokery and now I'm charging and not just charging charging fast as well I think I'm I'm pulling 145 kilowatts from this 150 so because I was below 20% um, I, I think I'm pulling quite a lot I'm so thankful um, but yeah I knew this was gonna happen at some point and since there's there's hardly any competition for charging here I think I might just stick around for a little bit longer I'll get to my full 80% and, and in the meanwhile I'll check to see where else I'll stop I think this should take me to fleet services where I can charge again um, before going the rest of the way home so fingers crossed hope this works I've charged to 88% just to be you know just that little bit extra careful 267 miles it's throttled it down now to like 46 kilowatts putting in the battery so stop at Stonehenge stop at Fleet then home While I have everything just bouncing around my brain, I thought I might as well just talk to you guys and get it off my chest. So I'm nearly, no, I'm not nearly at the end of my journey. Um, I am quite some way away, but I've never been more happy to see some Ionity chargers. So I am at Cobham Services today. So nobody asked this question. So I'm coming from Cornwall today. I've been on the road for well, it says seven hours there, but it's longer than that because I'd stopped at Stonehenge for a little bit. Can this car do 300 miles plus on a charge? Yes, it can. Um, you can see there, I've done 276 and the car says with 16% battery left, I can do 58 miles. I am more than 58 miles away from home where I am here. So I'm gonna stop here and wait. I can see why people get into a huff and a puff about um, electric cars and the and the infrastructure. They are correct about the infrastructure. So today, after these last two days, just going to Cornwall and back, um, I've been able to charge my car, but it hasn't been without some grief. And on the way coming back, you know, I had to make some tough decisions. So after I've done that last charge. I haven't charged the car since so now we're sitting on 16 percent. so it's brought me you know um what 250 odd miles it's brought me on that one charge all the way here and what are the decisions that i had to make well some tough ones the first decision that i had to make was i stopped at exeter i was getting really tired and i needed to have a little bit of sleep so i stopped at exeter to sleep for a little bit so I slept for about 20 minutes I was on 66 percent and I was like the queue for charging was stupid and I was like no nah, I've got enough charge I'm just gonna keep going and then um, coming up the road I stopped at Stonehenge I had a great time there for a couple of hours and then I would planned a stop at um, fleet services got to fleet services few I am um, few tesla chargers a whole bunch of chargers that are covered up that no one's using two grid serve chargers which of which there was a queue and i'm sure that that wasn't even 50 kilowatts it might be but i'm sure it wasn't and there was a queue there and, and i was like i can't be asked with this so this um cobham services is about another 25 miles away from there 
and I looked down in my dashboard, I realized I had 22% battery and the car can travel 80 odd miles. And I just made the decisions like, look, I'm just gonna come here because I know that these Ionity chargers at 350 kilowatts and because I am below 20%, it's gonna charge fast. And I think here I'm just gonna take enough just to get me home because it's cheaper to charge at home and I'll just plug in overnight and charge up for tomorrow. So I just need to be on the charger for about five to 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, the infrastructure is not there. They're trying, but I personally don't think that enough has been done to make sure that when people go on long journeys with an electric car, they can confidently you know, be able to charge their car. So I don't, I don't think that that's there. So I'm a teacher and um, sometimes you just gotta be, you know, careful and realistic, okay? So you go to your classroom to teach your lesson and nine times out of 10, out of the 30 kids in the class, 28 of them are behaving perfectly fine they're doing what you ask them to do. They're being just beautiful. Those extra two are the ones who are being little, little pains in the butt and, and ruining your lesson. And you find that as teachers, you can spend a lot of time on those two kids because their behavior is so imposing. They draw a lot of your time and you're spending a lot of time telling them off, calling home, um, putting them in detention or whatever the case might be or whatever sort of sanction system you've got. And while you're doing all that, what you are not doing is paying attention to the other 28 that are actually doing the right thing. You're not rewarding them. You're not calling home to tell the parents what a gem they have been because two kids have drawn your time away. And then you can go home feeling a bit frustrated. But when you really think about it and put things in perspective, it was just two kids and the rest were fine. And it's the same thing with this car. 90% of the time, I would even go as far as 99% of the time, I charge at home and I have no problems getting from A to B and I can go for hundreds of miles on a charge. But this was just one time and sometimes because you're frustrated and tired, you can get, it can get overshadowed and you can be thinking to yourself oh it's all rubbish just because you had one bad experience so i had to remind myself that 99 percent of the time i have great experiences this is just once anyway i hope it's the same for you for now though i'll see you guys on the next video peace out